Hi everyone, thanks for joining me watching In Deep on the Delta. This is the weekly Delta Fishing Report for February 9th. And um, got some information on the Delta this week, been out quite a bit, and it's, it's not, as far as the fish catching is going, it's not a great report, but a lot of up-to-date information, and the river is trending in the right direction. We'll get into that in just a minute. I want to start off with a little news. So first of all, Vista Del Lago High School Club uh, is having a tournament, a uh, uh, high school tournament, Sunday, February 12th, out at Folsom, Folsom Lake at Brown's Ravine. And they're looking for a couple of boaters, a couple of captains to uh, take out uh, a couple teams uh, of high school kids. If you're interested in that, you can contact the tournament director, Tony McKinnon, at 916 899 I'll put that information up on. Um, uh, end the remarks so you'll have it and uh, uh, if you can help out the uh, high school guys uh, give Tony a call and I guarantee you'll have a good time doing that. Okay with that uh, Coast Guard inspection we talked about this last week uh, the Real Custom Boat Works is sponsoring a Coast Guard inspection out at 8090 Rio Blanco Road that's Paradise Point so that's Real Custom Boat Works Saturday February 11th 8 to 12 they're going to have coffee and donuts. You can bring your boat out and uh, Coast Guard will do an inspection for you, get you all ready for this spring. Uh, all right, well, let's get in. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the um, uh, Central California, Northern California water um, levels. They're about what I think they're gonna end up at. Everything's, you know, if it's gonna depend on the type of precipitation. If we get any precipitation the rest of February and March, they may rise a little bit, but I think what we're gonna have now is about what you see. So uh, we have to be, I guess, grateful for the big storms that came in and filled the lakes up to at least closer to normal. But I think that's what we're gonna be looking at. If there's any changes, I'll let you guys know. Um, uh, you know as they come up and you know so the, you guys probably heard Clear Lake's fishing pretty well Maloney's is starting to catch a few fish I, I do know that uh, I have got some really good reports from Clear Lake on one day and the next day it's just you know depending on you know fronts that are moving in so on and so forth but some of the lakes are starting to perk up uh, Barry S is kicking out a few fish um, uh, it's still not time. I, I don't believe it's time to come out on the Delta. And we'll get into the Delta right now because I've got quite a bit to say on the Delta. And, and I'll start off by saying I, I had the opportunity to go out with the fishing instructor, Randy Pringle, uh, earlier in the week. And we, we fished, uh, I'd say, a good half a day. We, we did a lot of running around, looking at spots, um, you know, just kind of probing around. The fishing was extremely tough. We were unable to boat a fish. We did get a couple of bites. We talked to a couple people on the on the water. Uh, it was all skunks. Uh, we we ran from um, uh, lads, and there were six or eight boats that had gone out. I guess it was Tuesday. We were able to talk to a couple of those boaters. And everyone was pulling in a skunk. I do want to. I'll congratulate my buddy uh, Cameron. Uh, put his picture up uh, on the, in the intro to the uh, um, report this week and I guess Cameron's going to be the angler of the week. Congratulations camera for catching a fish on the Delta. That is, uh, that is a something to be proud of uh, in the last week or so. So with that being said I'll also talk about I guess the biggest telltale sign as far as how the fishing is here on the Delta is the ABA had their tournament um, last Sunday. Only 10 boats, but don't let this fool you. The 20 guys, it was a team tournament, the 20 guys in those 10 boats were probably 20 of the best anglers on the Delta. There wasn't anybody coming out here thinking that they couldn't catch fish. We're talking Christian uh, Oshlander, Ken Ma, all the, all the sticks were out here. And the tournament was won with two fish and uh, five, I think five, nine and some change. So two fish won the tournament. Out of the 10 boats, only 11 fish were caught. That's telling you that the fishing out here is pretty darn tough. All of my um, reports that I have been getting, uh, of the, and I've gotten very few of them, is been a skunk. Just nobody's catching any fish out here. If somebody does catch a fish every now and then, I hear somebody getting lucky and they're, they're picking up a fish here or there just no patterns out here so it's it's definitely not time to um, uh, call in sick or take some vacation days 
but the deal is it's trending in the right direction. We still have about two feet of visibility out here and inch by inch, I'm out here at Paradise Point almost every day and I could, you know, it doesn't go from two to two and a half to three feet. It's going from, you know, two feet to two feet, one inch visibility, so on and so forth. So incrementally, it's getting better and better. Water temperatures are still uh, starting off at about 49 degrees in the morning because we last week or so we've had some very um, uh, frosty evenings and that has you know dropped the water temperature now the water temperature fluctuates from about 49 to about 52 degrees during the course of the day um, I, you know I talked to Randy about that and, and Randy seems to think that that fluctuation this time of year is not a good thing from, uh, along with the visibility uh, and just the, the cold water temperatures, the Florida bass just aren't really on a big, big bite. So um, that's that's about all I can tell you. I will say that uh, I, I got to, I got to sit down with Randy, and I did about a 25-minute interview with Randy, and I wanted to um, I wanted to put out a video to give everybody an idea of what you can expect coming into this spring. It's going to happen and the fishing is going to get good. I, I will say that all of the fish that I've caught and the fish that I've seen out here, they're in good shape. They're eating. They're not eating baits. They're eating something. But they're in good shape and we're going to have a good spring. But because we've had this big flush of water, it's going to be a little different. I talked to Randy about that and he, he uh, spilled out a ton of information. I asked him about the baits that he would think about starting off with, you know, as he's probing around. And again, we're not on a pattern yet. We're talking about how to come out here. This this video will talk about how to come out maybe in the next two weeks, three weeks, when things start to move. How to establish a pattern. We talked about some baits to use, some things to be aware of, maybe a mental, you know, mentally how you're going to approach this, some of the areas that you might want to fish. And we went over a whole lot of stuff. So be um, be aware of that. I think it's going to be a good video, and and I guarantee you, Randy um, uh, gave up a lot of information on that. I help. I think it might help some of you guys when you come out here to start to establish your own patterns when the fishing gets good. So I, you know, I don't want to take up any more of your time. The fishing out here is really difficult. I'm going to be out again uh, probably tomorrow. I'll see if I can get something going. I think when it starts happening, it'll be one day where you get a few bites, the next day you get a few more bites, and then it's going to be on. And as soon as that happens, I'll let you guys in on uh, on uh, on the situation. And until then, I just got to thank you guys for every every week hanging in there with me. I know you're most of you guys are out just watching, waiting to get out here. Not not yet, guys, but it's coming soon. So. Thanks a lot. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. We'll see you next week, and I hope I have a better report. Good luck.